So that was pretty crazy. Um, I want to talk about how does, how is that happening? Because uh, there's lots of crazy stuff you can d to do with my p p pedals. Um, but uh, sometimes it's hard to explain how to do them. And oftentimes, I don't even know what they can do because there's so many possibilities in them that I, I have no idea what is even possible. Um, anyway, I just spent about f five minutes messing around with stuff. And I came to this setting here. Um, and basically, what's happening is I have three parameters, so three knobs that are modulating but back and f forth. Uh, I set the rate of that modulation here. You know, it's very slow right now, but you can make it f faster. That's cool too. The one you can hear the most is uh, the rate. Um, as you can see here, I have, over here, I have selected the mix knob, the rate knob, and the depth knob to ramp. I've also I also have the bounce switch engaged here, which means that they're not just going to ramp and hold, they're going to they're going to ramp and then they're going to ramp the other way. So they're going to modulate. Um, I also have the uh, stages dip switch set here because I just wanted access to either two, four, or six stages rather than the tap division um, selections. Um, and then you can choose uh, whether the um, the parameters are rising and f f falling, or one of them's rising and one of them's f falling as they're ramping back and f f forth. There's no right or wrong answer here. I just decided that I liked it when the uh, depth was rising um, and with the rate uh, while the rate was f falling and the mix was falling. Um, I also have sweep up here set to top sweep, and that and that means that the knobs are are ramping or modulating between uh, the knob position and the maximum counter or the maximum <laughs> clockwise position. Um, if it's in the bottom sweep, it's gonna the range is gonna be from the knob position to the maximum counterclockwise position. So. Um, so what's happening here is we have this uh, rate, you know, it's kind of going from here to here to super f f fast. We have the mix modulating. So we're going, uh, we're going from pure vibrato there at the top when the speed's going quickly to um, more of the chorus phasing, and then we're also uh, modulating the depth. So you can open that up wider, you know, since it's a top sweep, if we turn this more to the left, it's going to sweep a wider range of the depth. Um, and if we want the rate to go slower at the slowest position, then we rotate uh, the rate over. So now we're sweeping, you know, from here to here. And then, of course, if we want this whole LFO s s cycle to be slower, LFO stands for low frequency oscillator, we increase the ramp time. So you can see that really hangs on the, 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 the rate there. Going very slow. Because this, this ramp is slow, it's just going to take a long, now, it's, now the rate's speeding up again. So it's 
kind of fun. Um, this is just one thing I just sort of screwed around with, but uh, the possibilities are really endless to, to uh, experiment and mess around with this stuff. So uh, thanks for watching this and uh, enjoy it.